Good morning friends, my name is Praveen Kumar and you're watching Pavika Fluid Seas channel and this is my first video which is in English. Actually I got so many comments that your video has to be in English. So this is for the first time that I'm taking strength of material for, apart from your fluid mechanics. This is the topic change in volume of a pressure vessel under internal pressure. Actually that was a question which has appeared in so many universities. So I thought that I must go for it. So how we are going to calculate this is the change in volume of a pressure vessel whenever it is subjected to internal pressure. But uh, before starting if you haven't subscribed my channel please subscribe my channel and please share it if you'll go for it okay definitely you go for it and uh, definitely there is a you go for a like button also with us okay and see till end actually this was a question which was asked in so many universities so we'll first of all we'll understand what is pressure vessel so this is a vessel okay this is a vessel like you have seen uh, your mama is using a pressure cooker it's having dia okay it's having dia this is d and it's having a length length also okay and uh, you know that pressure cooker having a thickness also that means okay so pressure vessel having a thickness also always remember it so this is your thickness this is your thickness okay right now you know that uh, what is the volume of a cylinder cylinder because we have to find out the change in volume of a cylindrical pressure vessel cylindrical vessel whenever it is subjected some internal pressure internal pressure means some gas may be there inside okay some gas may be there like you have seen uh, LPG cylinders at your home at kitchen okay in kitchen so we'll go for it and before that you have seen I have so many videos on SOM uh, not more than that means hardly six to seven videos on different chapter pressure vessel that is Lane's theory and uh, longitudinal stress, hoop stress, hoop stress is also called circumferential stress. So we'll go for it. You know the formula is, first of all we must know what is the volume of a cylinder. And first of all we must know that what is the volume. Volume is anything which is empty space. Okay. Empty space in which we can put water. Suppose if uh, this vessel is empty. Okay. If this vessel is empty, then a question comes in our mind that how much water we can pour in it. So the amount of water that we want to pour in it in liters or in meter cube or in centimeter cube, that is nothing but the volume or we can say the empty space which is present inside the container. So since it is a shape of cylinder, so what is the volume of a cylinder? You know that from 10th mathematics, this is pi r square h. Okay, but I want to know in terms of diameter so this will be your pi instead of r you know that we can write d by 2 so i'll put d by 2 here and this will be square here and h so your new formula is volume of a cylindrical vessel is pi this square will come to this d also this square will come on 2 also this will become 4 so this is and this h in this case this is the height and this height is becomes L. So this is your formula according to this pressure vessel. Okay. First of all that we have a pressure vessel. Its diameter is D. Its thickness is T. Its length is L. And the volume we can write is pi D square L by 4. So we will write it. Okay. Pi D square by 4 L. And we want to know what is the change in volume due to internal pressure. Okay. So we'll in uh, partial differentiation we will go for partial differentiation now what is the use of partial differentiation suppose if this is the main parameter v if this is the main parameter v and this is again connected with see pi is constant 4 is constant this is the main parameter v which is again connected with the two different parameters means v is a we can write v is a function of d not d square d and l d and l d is the diameter l is the length or we can say height okay then we'll go for partial differentiation what partial differentiation this is the partial differentiation so partial differentiation will give you the power in order to calculate the change in any parameter so we will go for partial differentiation this will be del v okay then this will be pi by 4 is constant so we'll take it out outside okay right now we are left with only two parameters first of all two parameters what d square and l okay d square and l so first of all what you have to do is 
take this as a constant d square or either you take this as a constant l and you perform partial differentiation on d square so it will be 2 d this is del d okay this is finished and the remaining parameter which was constant okay plus right now you have to keep this d square constant and l u differentiate so this will be d square and another l is your del l i think you shouldn't have any problem while performing this okay right now what you have to do is divide both side this is your left hand side this is your right hand side divide both side by your original volume suppose if i'll v then if i'll go for v also okay so it will look like del v upon v equal to pi by 4 u v divide by this also divide by this also and in between plus sign is there so it will look like d 2d del d this is del d okay so i'll take a bracket here so there shouldn't be any confusion between this d and del this is del d okay del d is again a variable change in diameter this is the change in diameter what is this change in diameter this is a change in length so this is l upon v plus your d square del l upon v so this it will look like this so we will do here okay this is del v upon v equal to pi by 4 so we'll start putting its original value so this will be 2d this is del d okay l upon v v is what you know that pi d square l and again there is a 4 but this is upon so it will flip and go up okay so i think i must uh, rub this okay up to here i must rub it because i have an expression here so i can see okay after that plus d square del l so again i'll take it in bracket because this is a complete parameter okay del l upon v v is what your your pi d square l and 4 is upon 4 so it will again flip so this will look like this so right now you cancel whatever you want to cancel it uh, this one is uh, l l has gone okay d and 1 d is gone so again we write down this is a change in upon original volume pi by 4 this will look like 2 4 ja 8 then uh, remaining is del d okay and uh, this is your nothing happened only one d is there and one pi is there plus uh, uh, this one here you can cancel d square d square cancel the remaining is right down here 4 del l okay upon pi l okay right now again go for it so whatever you have common you just take it out here 8 and 4 so again you will be able to take common that is 4 pi upon 4 okay right now you have taken 4 common so 4 common so 4 to 8 so remaining is 2 del d upon d and from bottom here is pi here is pi so again you take common here okay so let me rub this also plus this is your del l you have taken 4 common you have taken pi common that means this is l okay so again 4 4 cancel pi by cancel so this is nothing we are left with change in volume upon original volume is equal to 2 del d upon d plus your del l upon l so what is this this is a change in volume upon original volume this is 2 equal to 2 into change in diameter upon original diameter plus change in length upon original length so we'll denote it by using 2 e d this is nothing but the e this is the change in diameter with respect to change in diameter upon original diameter this e means okay but it tells it is means uh, we have written its base to its base d that means it is it is telling del d by d plus your again like that we will write down this is nothing but the change in length upon original length means we will write e to the base l okay and no need to go for even brackets this is the change in volume on original volume okay and right now if you'll see if you'll see that what is this ed ed we have already we have some values for this with this that ed can be written as p 
this is the D. Uh, one thing I forgot to tell you that inside a gas is there just because of what pressure is there. Right now it's giving pressure how much? P. What is this? P. Okay. So it's ED we can write. This is not ED. ED is nothing but your change in diameter upon original diameter. This can be uh, written by using some formulas you that you have to remember PT2 minus U for TE. Okay. And another formula is there which is nothing but the change in length upon original length. This can be written as this that is PD upon 4 TE this is 1 minus 2 mu again this this mu is different this is nothing but the see I'll tell you each and everything del D by D we have written that is equivalent to ED E to the base D what is this this is the internal pressure D is the diameter of the pressure vessel mu mu is nothing but the poison's ratio poison's ratio poison's ratio is nothing but the lateral strain upon linear strain lateral strain means whatever the changes in a pressure vessel in vertical direction divided by the changes in the linear direction in the horizontal direction mu i can tell you this is the lateral strain upon lateral strain upon linear strain okay so you know that an E, T is your thickness, E is your bulk modulus of elasticity. So I think you are clear with this. What you have to do is, so we, again, we have to put a value here. This is nothing but the change in volume upon original volume. This is two. Okay. This is two is attached with this. Okay. So ED, ED is what? This is, we'll go for brackets, simple brackets only. Uh, with this, we have to write down ED, ED is P. D 2 minus mu upon 4 T E okay okay then plus your E L E L is what this is your E L this is your P D upon 4 T E 1 minus 2 mu okay right now what we'll do is your we'll see what is common that we'll take it out common C PD, 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 4TE, 4TE, that will take it out common. So, we'll take PD upon 4TE common and uh, we are left with inside 2 minus 2 mu plus 1 minus 2 mu. Okay, you can see this is the change in volume upon original volume. This is PD upon 4TE. Okay, this is E, 2 to the 4 minus 2 into mu, that is 2 mu plus 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 minus minus again 2 mu okay right now you can see this you can see this this is the change in volume upon original volume pd upon 4 te okay and this is your 4 plus 1 is your 5 and minus 2 mu and minus 2 mu is your 4 mu so that was the expression for change in volume upon original volume and this can be means uh, said as volumetric strain you can see you can understand what is this this is the change in volume upon original volume or we can say what is the fraction of original volume which has changed by how much percent the there is a change in uh, means the original volume actually only this is it is looking like a fraction okay it is looking like a fraction that how much percentage how much percentage in which there is a change in original volume only the thing is that we are left with only that if we multiply then we can say that uh, this is the change in volume percentage but our formula doesn't tell you to go for multiply by 100 so this is nothing but the change in volume okay and if you want a change in volume then you multiply by v here this will go here so it will give you the change in volume in original pressure vessel so that was the expression actually this was a question for at least five marks or two marks i don't know but some of in some of the universities that was asked that what is the change in volume uh, in your pressure vessel whenever it is subjected to internal pressure so thanks for watching and stay with me uh, for next updates like that uh, today i have come with a new I mean, song again 
लाइक दैट आई कम विद फ्लड मैकेनिक्स एंड केमिकल इंजीनियरिंग सब्जेक्ट थैंक फॉर वॉचिंग जय हिंद जय भारत धन्यवाद